Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hubby came upstairs. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day here today, and uh, it's quite warm outside, so he uh, came upstairs to see if I was too hot up here, and he was going to put the air conditioning on, but uh, it's okay. We opened some windows and got a nice cross breeze, so it's all good. So I'm thinking I may add, sorry for the noise of the crinkling here, some of this beautiful vintage um, antique lace. I just love it. It's so, so pretty to um, the sides here. In fact, I may do some layering. Hmm. I do like that, so I think I'm going to do that. I think it needs a little bit of lace just to soften some of the edges a bit. Let's see here. Good old Tim Holtz scissors, they cut everything. This lace I actually got off of a lady on eBay who sells um, antique lace. Really, really good price. So if anybody wants to know her name, just leave me a message there, I'll let you know. Um, she um, she sells like pieces of vintage clothing, like sleeves and collars and stuff like that, um, and just beautiful, gorgeous laces. So I always keep an eye on her shop because uh, she has some good stuff. And if it's a good lot of it, like this is five yards, then I'll pick it up. Um, so again, it depends. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this like here, I think. Bit of hot glue. You gotta wait for your um, glue to cool a bit, otherwise uh, it'll burn your finger. So be careful. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. And we'll just do that on the other side as well. Yeah. That kind of softens the edges a little bit. I like that. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Maybe I will find some trim to put on the top there. Hmm. What to do, what to do. No, oh, well, that trim would be too big. Just looking around what I have handy. Hmm, I wonder if some beaded trim might look nice. I have some really cute little beaded trim from Craft Supplies 1. It's this stuff here, but it's a little bright. Might be too small. No, I think I'm going to find some lace. I'm going to go have a dig through my lace and see what I can find. My daughter gave me some lace. I've got this, which is really pretty. She uh, gave me a bunch of craft goodies for my birthday, which is very fun. So, I think I may use that. She gave me these two great big bags with lots of lace goodies in them, so, and trims. So yes, I think I'm going to use that little lace right there. She also gave me some really nice stamps too, which I'll show you later. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add this. I think that'll be just enough, because I don't want to put a ton of lace on it. Yep, that works. So just a bead of glue down here. And now 
I'll just snip that off and trim up this edge. Perfect. Yep, that's just enough. And the same with the other side. There we go. I like that. That's pretty. And it does give it a bit of a feminine touch, which I like. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do really much to this part of the box. I think the top will be the focal point, and I really do like the paper that's on it, and you know, I don't want to cover up these sides because I just love the way that that looks and I still want it to have that vintage camera look to it so I'm just going to sit this back on top here and embellish I think I think I'm ready for that pretty simple but fun and easy project so let me see I want to use some of these cool little bits in here like that. I love these Inkle Bone little screws and um, the Prima Junkyard findings. They're so cute. Little nail heads. I like those too. I wonder if I have four screws left. There's one. Yep, I do. They're a little different, but that's okay. I'm going to use those. Okay. And I've got some flowers here that I want to use in uh, creams. I've got some Dove Grey ones. Really pretty from Wild Orca Crafts. And my gears. Okay. I think that's good to go here. So I think what I will do is put these little screw heads in one in each of the corners, like that. I like the way that looks. But I'm going to use glossy accents for those. Just put a little daub on there enough and it'll dry pretty quickly. I like little details like that. You want it to look realistic still like a camera but you know I want it to look vintage and shabby at the same time. Okay, let's see. Maybe I will start putting a couple of flowers on here. Hmm. I really like these gray ones. So I'm going to cut a couple of these. use this flower, but I don't know if I'm going to now. We'll see. And I've got these gears that I want to use, too. So maybe I will tuck a gear behind these. Pretty. 
and I've got white and black flowers. I've also got this arrow too. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to use my glossy accents on this little arrow too. So I've been having a lot of fun playing with all of Gina's amazing, amazing goodies. And everybody has just been so wonderful and welcoming on the design team. So I'm super, super happy about that. I think for these gears I'll just use a bit of hot glue. Blue for the flowers. And when I'm finished this, I will have still pictures on the um, the last part of this video as well, so you can see the final product. And then it will be on um, Gina's blog as well. And again, the links for those are going to be down below. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hmm, kind of like that. I just want to do that. There we go. Okay, some of these really cute black flowers. I think I'm going to use. And I'll pick up the black in the, the film strip. I have to be careful not to go over the edge because. Uh, this lid has to come off. Like that. And we will glue these down. I think I might need another glue stick. Keeping my glue stick in this can that I made for craft supplies one. It's so handy. Just glue these guys down. I think I may go over this with some gesso, I'm not sure, we'll have to see. Now I do have these really pretty orchids I just got from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, I'd never gotten these before, so and I've seen a couple of ladies using these. They're really pretty. Love these. So I think I'm going to use a couple of these. Because they're a little different and unique. Yeah, I like those. So I got them in the big size and the small size. And glue. So this is how we're looking so far, guys. What do you think? It's coming along. I really like that so far. It's pretty. 
And let's see. I want to add this light bulb somewhere too. Maybe right there. Tucked in these flowers here, maybe. Just like that. And then I've got this Imagine Sentiment from Tim Holtz. I can probably put this down here. Like that. And I have a couple more gears. So I think I might put one here. One there. Oops. And one there, maybe. And then a couple of smaller flowers. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I think that's what I will do. And of course, get rid of the glue strings. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. <laughs> um, I don't have, like, I don't really know um, a lot of interesting stories. Well, I do, I guess, but, uh, you know, when I'm crafting, I'm usually fairly quiet. It's, uh, this is why I haven't done a lot of these types of tutorials, so. I guess uh, I'll have to think up some jokes or something to share with you guys next time when I do this. It's fun doing it. It's fun kind of crafting along with people. So I'm anxious to hear like, if you guys want me to do these or not. Um, do let me know. If you don't, that's fine too. Whatever you like. Sometimes it's fun to watch somebody work this is coming together really quickly. So there we are so far. It's coming. I'm going to add a few more small flowers. Let's see. I've got these little rosebuds too. I think maybe I'll open those and add a few of those. I like little rosebuds. I think they just sort of add a, a finishing touch to things. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these, I think. These scissors are so great. If you guys don't have Tim Holt scissors, get some. They're fantastic. Whoops. Okay, so I've cut a bunch of these small little rosebuds. So I'm just going to tuck them in here and there. needed that little bit of a finishing touch there with the uh, with the little buds. Tuck a couple up here. Oh, glue strings, bane of my existence, I'm telling you. build that up quite nicely. Mm, I 
think one or two more I will use. And then maybe a couple of smaller black roses. It's always best, I find, to work in odd numbers. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but uh, some of you know that I'm actually a trained floral designer. Um, my husband and I had our own business for many, many years, our own uh, brick and mortar store. And um, I absolutely loved being a, flor a florist. I, it's re a real, real passion of mine. I just love flowers. Sorry about that, guys. My camera ran out of batteries that time. <laughs> um, I also have these little cameras here that I want to add somewhere, and I'm thinking I'm going to add one right here. I think that fits in really perfectly right there. Um, just kind of adds that little finishing touch. I'm not going to use these two, I don't think, because I think that would just be too much. Yeah. But this one seems to fit in perfectly, so I'm just going to glue this one down. And put it on here, right under here, on top of that gear. And that fits perfectly. It does hang over a bit, but that's okay because it does come off. So that's okay. So there you go. There's the little vintage camera I added. So, I don't think I'm going to do too much more to it. Um, like I said, I don't want to add much because the person who I'm giving it to, I suppose I could do that, but I don't really want to. The person I'm giving it to likes things to be a bit simple, um, so I don't want to over embellish it. And I think it, it still is giving the look of a vintage camera without being overdone. So I think this is going to be it. I think it's done. I think we can call this one finished. And yeah, it's been fun doing a, a sort of start to finish and how to um, right from the very beginning of this. So if you guys have any questions about this project or any other projects, like I said, um, if you want to me to do an embossing tutorial or anything like that, just leave me a message and let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think. I hope you like my little project here, and I'm going to add some still photos as well of the finished product to this video. So take care, guys, and yeah, please feel free to leave a message or subscribe. Oh, and by the way, I also want to say, before I say goodbye on my video here, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers because I... I'm feeling really, really blessed. You guys have just been amazing. And um, I just today went to uh, 1,900 subbies, just over top of 1,900 subbies. I'm just like totally in awe and amazed. So thank you, thank you so much for that. And I hope that um, you guys find a little bit of inspiration here. So take care, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.